Hey everybody, this is Erica, the Classy Climb Vlog. I am coming today asking you to seriously, seriously, take a moment and write down or say or read your daily affirmations. But first, before we do that, check down below for the Classy Climb School, courses on how to start a business from scratch, how to make, how to get more income, and also how to just design the American dream you want to live, okay? And when I talk about daily affirmations, I, I talk about things like, I'm grateful that I'm alive. I'm grateful to have a great mother who's alive. I'm grateful to have uh, nephews and nieces that I can impact their lives. I'm grateful to, to be healthy. I have my eyes, my ears, my limbs, everything's working. And, and sometimes I think people go, that's such an asshole thing for you to say. No, no, it's not, it's not. I really am grateful for what I have. And that's the problem in this country. We have a lot of people who are entitled and say, I don't have a hot model wife what is wrong with my life, right? I don't have a hot model husband. I don't have this husband who's overly romantic. I don't have a husband running over with money. Instead of going, thank you, God, I have someone to walk down the road with. Two different mindsets. Why don't I have, and then thank God I do have. It's a very simple change, okay? Same thing with your kids. There are some people who can never have children. Never, never physically have children. And you have three or four and you're like, ugh, these damn kids, I wish they'd go away. There's someone who would open their home and take those kids from you if they could. So it's important to be extremely grateful. And and, and then these are two steps I tell people to do. I, I, I get an early morning um, kind of motivational CD and listen to it on the way to work so that your drive is not filled with negativity and news and crap and blah, 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 but positive, positive affirmations in the morning. Um, I listen to Bible app in the morning for myself. I just let it play different plans that are about joy and happiness and peace. Uh, another technique is on your bathroom mirror. And this is depends on where you live. If you live in a roommate situation, I wouldn't do it. I mean, I do it in my room, but not that way. If you're married, you can do it. If it's something about your spouse, you might not want to write that on the wall. <laughs> but basically write on the mirror, like two Bible verses you need to remember. Or write down two quotes that make you feel better daily. Like don't fear the Lord is with you or, or, um, gosh, you know, the bird, God takes care of the birds. Surely he'll take care of you or, or something to that extent, you know, something positive that keeps you uplifted. Right. And right on your mirror. So when you get up in the morning and you see it, you're like, man, that's right. Or just right on your mirror today is going to be an awesome day. I have a great wife, a great family, a great, whatever, husband, whatever you want around the wall. I mean, don't take up your whole freaking mirror, but write a few things on there. And for women, I love when I see women's wearers, I say, I'm beautiful. Good girl. Yeah, you're beautiful. Write it down. Tell yourself every morning. Keep it moving. It's important. So daily affirmations, find some for you. Find a routine that works. Do it daily. Just like a shower, you need motivation daily. So you guys have a great day.